the last stop, last video in the Philippines. But I want to tell you stories about the president during the Korean War. The president sent his only son and his son-in-law to also fight alongside the 7,500 who volunteered to go to Korea. Talk about really believing in something. He really believed that it was for the defense of democracy and freedom, and it was worth sending his own son. So I am here at Pep Talk, the Korean War Memorial Hall, with the director here, Mark, who is a good friend now, because we are able to in touch. Um, but he's going to give us more explanation of the center. So let's go in. Uh, I explain what is the meaning of this uh, war. So the center was inaugurated, or the museum was inaugurated last March 29, 2012. So it is about uh, seven years now. Wow. So that law, it was established under the uh, administration of Under Secretary Ernesto Carolina, so of the Philippine Veterans Affairs Office. Wow. And this was inaugurated by no other than the, the president then, President Billy Clinton III. And along with the uh, Minister of Patriots and Veterans of Korea, yeah. Minister Mark Sochu. Yeah. You know, this is again, the Philippines yeah. has the best center for Korean War veterans I have seen anywhere in the world. Thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so thank you. And again, of course, this is the most free, um, the most well known thing that freedom is not free, it is paid for with the blood of fighting men. Staying with the tears of loved ones left behind. And that's yeah, So, Philippine Expeditionary Force to Korea, 1950 to 55. So, for three years, we fought the North Koreans, we fought the Chinese, we fought the Russians. For the last three years, from 50 to 55, we have rebuilt South Korea. I know. So, we're gonna go on the tour to this way. Um, so, this is very well done with much, a lot of detail, a lot of detail. So this is the uh, general side of the war, saying the Korean War history, and the significant dates, of course. Yes. The general information about the Pepco, so about the five battalions that we sent during the war, beginning 15 September 1915. So September 15 is when the war started getting very very, uh, seeing a lot of action. Remember, yes. in Chumman, took place September 15th. So, here's the five battalions are... The 10th. So, the 10th uh, battalion combat team, the first Filipino battalion to be sent during the war. And they, in the Battle of Yudong, I visited the Memorial in Korea honoring Filipinos. In Yeoncheon. And, yep, in Yeoncheon. And there, the Battle of Yudong, um, the Filipinos were outnumbered like 900 to like 40,000. Yes, I wasn't making it up. And they stood ground. And that one was a good one. Right? So we, we lost uh, just 26 uh, soldiers. So the second battalion represents the 20th battalion combat team. Mm. And we need. Okay, I want to point out something here that. I have never seen anyone, okay? I have never seen the entire roster of troops in any country. So only us. Yes. yes, yes. I've never seen it. You have the name we have the names of those who died, okay. but we don't have names of those who served. So all 7,500 are here. Are here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And their number. Yes, their serial numbers, their military specialty are all included. That is so wonderful. I just love that. And so here again, oh, I just want to show this one because it gives you an idea. The total number of troops, America 1.8 million, Philippines sent, sent almost 7,500. So that was actually how, you were the maybe one, like the fifth largest? Or yeah, 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 right? Uh, yeah, the fifth largest. And the 112 did not come back. So, 
some of the prisoners of war. Oh, okay. How many were there? Uh, 41 were prisoners of war and they were able to get back in 1953. Wow. Okay, so here's again the 19th Battalion. So they fought now in 1952 to 53. So this is where President Spirito San belongs. This is the 19th. Mm -hmm. And his son in law as well. Yes, the son in law, right? Or son, they were not in combat, but they were doing signal, and then he requested that he see action. Yes. So right? Because he wanted to prove to the president that he would not be fair, but he was also brave enough. Yes. But luckily, he made it home alive. <laughs> oh, another thing, and I knew you saw me cry over that. It was, the, it was the most poignant uh, movie. But was it the son or the son-in-law where he was, he was diagnosed with cancer? The son-in-law. Yeah, the son-in-law. And he wanted to go visit yes. the Kamun. And enjoy this. That's his last request. That was his last request. That really broke my heart, oh my god. And this, this one, oh. his name is uh, First Lieutenant uh, Gonzalez, oh. the Air Force pilot. Wow. And this is um, President Car Carino. San, 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 San Lo. Yes. And so this was the last remaining battalion, right? Uh, yeah, the last uh, but that fourth, fourth battalion. A fourth battalion. And they stayed until 54. Oh yeah, and here's the last one. Yes. So these are the guys who rebuilt Korea. These are the engineers, the teachers, the nurses, the doctors. Yes. Another thing I was touched with in the video that um, I think when everybody left, there were, was one officer and 14 men that stayed for three more months yes. to just, you know, help kind of Things, right? Logistics. Yes. But when the 15 of them were departing home to come to come back home to the Philippines, um, they were given full military honor and send-off. And um, I remember in the video him saying that, that that was the spirit of the United Nations and democracy. Yeah, that was just that was another heartfelt moment for me. So um, so again, major Filipino victories are, there are five. So I knew them, so that's November yes. 11, 1950. This is where the battle of Major Young yes. got his gold cross. Yes. And then, then Young Dong, of course, yes. which is very well known in Philippine military history. And then we have uh, battles of Hill Mary, so where President Ramos became known. Okay. Next one is the battle. Oh, yeah. What that means is that there was. Um, a sold, uh, he was a second lieutenant at the time, but later he was comes the president, president of the Philippines. Yes. And then? Yeah, uh, Battle for Combat Outpost Number 8. That's a five day battle between okay. the Chinese and the Filipino soldiers. Okay, and the last And the last one was in the Christmas Hill Battle, June 15, 1953. So these are not the only battles they fought, these are the battles that, the major battles, and they won. Yes. Yes, so there are no. So um, the Philippine Air Force and Navy, as well as the battalions, were also um, in the Korean War. Yes. yes. Uh, the Korean War was the first uh, armed forces of the Philippines joint operation. So mm -hmm. each battalion company must say naval and air force officer in Korea. Wow. So that is awesome, everybody. And last but not least, here is their uniform that does not look warm enough for the cold, okay, because, I mean, that looks like a raincoat almost. <laughs> because as you know, we'll see yeah. an island, and it's hot here, so imagine going to Korea where they've never seen snow. Yes, probably. actually that's the one thing that they uh, encountered that is going to be yes. snow. So yes. they could fought anything, but not against the snow. Yeah. They said they were also fighting against the cold. Here are their weapons. Again, more clothes that don't look warm. So this, these two are still alive. Lieutenant Catolos is around 90 and Lieutenant Pichel is still uh, 89. Wow. I'm telling you, there's long longevity here. I get back into the Philippines. And here, I will end by saying, thank you Philippines, the Republic of Korea.
Korea, of course, came here and always thanks you, but here as a person, as an individual, you know, forget being an American, forget being even Korean American, as a human being, you know, I, I said it was a, it's a love story that the president will say, I believe in this cause, I'm going to send my only son and my son-in-law to this fight for this cause. I think that's just really um, symbolizes love of the greatest love of all, and that one would risk his life for a friend. And so, thank you so much, Mark. Thank you You're to welcome. all the veterans and veterans all over the world. I. Um, yeah, it's a reminder. I'm just reminding all of you, okay? Freedom is not free. So, thank you again, and we